Well, welcome again, everyone. Um, we're here to honor our businesses of the year. Um, I almost was ready to promise you a really short program because we didn't have any politicians here. But Brian has showed up, so sit back and relax. Um, first off, I'd like to start with uh, um, recognizing our, our event sponsor, um, Key Bank, who has done this for quite a number of years, and we really appreciate it. Um, is Christine? Can you come up? Um, our additional sponsors, uh, MMI Engineering Solutions, Dr. Raymond Howe, Gen Motion Marketing, Pineapple House, and Costco, who provided our cakes that we'll be diving into at some point. Um, I would also like to thank our contributors, who um, the SCTN from the Saline Area Schools, who is filming us this evening. And we have... Um, Let's see, who all have we got here? We've got the Celine Post on his knees for some reason. I, and the Sun Times News back in the back corner over there. Uh, we would also like to thank Stonebridge Golf Club for putting this on again this year. This is such a wonderful place. Um, I always love coming here and it's just nice, although it did kind of rain, but that's okay. We can live with that. Um, you know, every year we come together to do this, and there, there are two events that mean a lot to me in, in our organization. Um, the, the first one is that we do in the spring is our Celine Salutes, where we honor our citizens. And the second one, of course, is this, where we come together to honor businesses who have been um, you know, good for the community in general, but also good citizens. Um, I think that is very important um, to the well-being of Celine, and, it, and it's always a privilege to be able to be part of this. Um, this is our actually our 21st annual. We have been doing this for quite a while, and there's a, a long list of people who have, who have gotten this. Um, the Chamber would like to extend its congratulations to the achievements of our 2016 Small Business of the Year, which is Washtenaw Glass. Our 2016 Large Business of the Year, which is the Bank of Ann Arbor. And this year, we are also recognizing Debbie Locke Daniel. <laughs> Debbie is receiving our Lifetime Achievement Award, and she has actually been very, very helpful over the years to the, the Celine Chamber and actually all the surrounding communities. Um, she used her organization to, to help us all um, throughout the years, and we sincerely appreciate it. I guess at this point, I am supposed to introduce Thomas. Thomas Lindy, who is our 2016 Chamber President. All right, um, on behalf of the uh, Board of Directors, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for coming tonight. And uh, I think the, the the way that, that our business community can come together and actually uh, not only compete, but celebrate each other and work together and belong to a chamber that actually embrace each other's business, regardless what we do, regardless how big we are, and uh, how we, we, we come together in events like that is, is, is quite amazing for, um, for a community like that to, to have. And, uh, and I think uh, just to have a, a, an award uh, like this um, is, is quite substantial. So 
Um, there's actually uh, 42, actually I just learned 43 companies that has uh, uh, received this award over uh, the years. And um, at this time I'd like to recognize uh, Steve uh, Custom Signs. Stand up. KeyBank. Congratulations. Design Hub. Stonebridge Golf Course. Kyocera. Apartment Insurance Energy. Spot a dog. La Fontaine. Pineapple House. Your gentleman homes. Roads, drawers, and associates. Um, also, uh, the criteria for uh, reaching this or for being um, uh, nominated for for this uh, award is um, that the nominations are, are received from the entire community in the two uh, different categories. It's a small business, 20 or fewer, large business, 21 and more. The selection process uh, represent the Saline Area Business Community as determined by the Saline Area Chamber of Commerce uh, of Directors. And uh, it has a substantial history in the establishment uh, successful business, demonstrated uh, commitment to the overall health uh, and produ productivity in the Saline area demonstrated commitment to provide customers, clients, the best possible service and or product, consistently follow ethic and fair business practice, uh, contributed to the, to the betterment of the community through volunteer efforts. Uh, it's a Saline Area Chamber of Commerce uh, member uh, and in good standing. This time I'd like to introduce uh, our MC for the night and next year's president of the board, Jeremiah. Good evening, I'm Jeremiah Johnson and I'm also on the Board of Directors for the Saline Area Chamber of Commerce and uh, I have the honor of introducing our award winners this evening. Uh, before I do, I also want to say that uh, uh, Max uh, Seafood is also here tonight, a previous winner in the audience. All right, so we're going to begin with the presentation of the 2016 Small Business of the Year. And I'm going to call them up and we're going to shower you with recognition from several people. Uh, including plaques and tributes. Uh, so before we start the showering, John, I'm going to have you come up. You're actually going to deliver the plaque. And now our 2016 Small Business of the Year, Washington All Glass. I'd like to invite Paul Buckles up to the to the podium. You know, I would just like to say that they have been, when we were going through the nomination process, um, you're only allowed to win the award once. And when we were beginning to go through it, everybody said, oh, well, they must have already won it. And we were absolutely shocked that a business that has been here this long and, and contributed so much to our community hadn't already gotten it. 
So we are very happy to be able to present you with the Small Area Business of the Year Award. Thank you. Paul, I'm going to keep you up here for, for just another moment. We, we have our, our local officials who would also like to tribute you, uh, beginning with our mayor, Brian Morrow. Brian? Good evening, my friend. Uh, let me preface by saying I apologize for my tardiness, and uh, I apologize. I've got a, a jam-packed schedule this evening, so I'm presenting and then running to two, to two additional meetings. So I'm going to try my best to be brief. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stay for the subsequent two awards, but I want to congratulate both you, Debbie, and uh, my friends at, uh, at Ann Arbor Bank. Um, I am also wearing two hats this evening. I am presenting on behalf of myself with the City of Saline and also your County Commissioner Alicia Ping, who is unable to be with us this evening. Uh, let me just say, uh, my family, um, we are proud customers, have been proud customers of Washtenaw Glass. Washtenaw Glass has been in our area for, for many, many years. Um, I'm not gonna read uh, this resolution, my resolution, or Commissioner Ping's resolution um, in their entirety. I do wanna say that um, the proprietor and the employees do an outstanding job. They find ways to give back to this community, um, and they're the kind of business that, that others should, should seek for inspiration and try to, to emulate. And I will tell you this in, in a broader context, my friends, uh, and John touched on this earlier, one of the reasons why Celine is such a special and a great place is because of our, our businesses. We have a lot of unique and iconic businesses in our community who not only uh, provide resources and products and services to our citizens, but also find ways, tangible ways, to give back and to make this community a better place. Uh, and Washtenaw Glass is, is clearly one of those businesses, and it is, again, an honor and a privilege to be with you this evening to, to recognize their accomplishment. Uh, and as John said, and, and maybe Jeremiah as well, I'm, I'm quite frankly surprised it's taken you so long to get this award. Um, but again, congratulations. Uh, we appreciate everything you do, and uh, we wish you many more years of, of success and prosperity in the Saline community. Let's give him one more round of applause. I'm going to keep you here. We're, we're not done lavishing you yet. You're going to have to hand off some of those plaques to your table. <laughs> uh, also this evening, uh, we have a representative for Gretchen Driscoll. Uh, Annika Donor is here, who would also like to provide a tribute for you. Annika? Hi, I'm Anna Cadoner. I'm here on behalf of Representative Gretchen Driscoll, who was here for a little bit earlier, but unfortunately had to run over um, to Chelsea for a, a similar event there. Um, but I'm uh, honored to be here tonight. Um, we have a legislative tribute that I will read a portion of. Um, I'll read the end. Uh, it says, in special tribute, this document is signed and dedicated to commemorate Washtenaw Glass on receiving the 2016 Small Business of the Year Award. We commend Washtenaw Glass for being a model small business in the Saline community. May they know of our deepest admiration, respect, and best wishes for continued success in the future. And it's signed by Representative Gretchen Driscoll, State Senator Rebecca Warren, and Governor Rick Snyder. Uh, also, we have a representative from Congressman Tim Wahlberg's office who would like to give you a tribute as well, uh, Dustin Krasny. Well, it's an honor to be here tonight, and I would lead off with some wise words once told to me. Blessed are the brief, because they'll be asked to speak again. So I'll be as brief as I can, uh, Mr. Buckholz. Uh, but as the lady uh, said, uh, there is a Chelsea Chamber uh, award ceremony tonight in Chelsea, and when the congressman and I were talking about that, as he sent his lovely wife, Sue, who wanted to go to the banquet in Monroe, I said, Congressman, I don't know about you, but I'm coming home to Celine, so I'm here today, and he's over in Chelsea uh, uh, doing his work. But uh, 
I wanted to thank the Buckholz family for all their work that they've done in this community over the years. And I think it is important to read a, a short portion of this tribute because I think it speaks volumes uh, to, the, to the wisdom and insight and effort that Paul has put in uh, to this community and this idea, this business that he's created. It says, after working for Huron Valley Glass Company for 10 years, Paul Buckholz decided to venture into business for himself and Washtenaw Glass Company was born. After many years in the business, Paul turned over the reins to his daughter, Jackie, who is just as focused on quality and customer service as her father has, been, has always been. Washtenaw Glass Company employees are known for their excellent glazing and do quality work on custom projects for bathroom, tub, and shower doors, insulated glass, tabletops, mirrors, windows, storm doors, skylights, security glass, and auto windshield replacement and repair and more. Over the years, the Buckholz family has taken excellent care of the needs of the community. That was kind of an advertisement, don't worry. Um, no, but I, I think it's important to show his work and wisdom and guidance because small businesses in this country create 70% of all new jobs. So as they put their own money, their own time and effort into it, we as individual citizens, as Chamber of Commerce and the like, need to stand behind them as they create jobs for so many people in this area uh, that we can't thank you enough. So on behalf of Congressman Wahlberg and the U.S. House of Representatives, here's a tribute from his office. Thanks again, Paul. Thank you. One more large item, Paul. So, John, if you could join me. We have, uh, we have a winner's cup that we're going to pass on to you as well. And John will present you with that. And then if you would like to say a couple of words of thanks, that would be fine. I would just like to get Jackie up here. He's the driving force. Now, this is yours to keep at the office for the rest of this year, and then we'll collect it right before next year. We'll take good care of it. <laughs> All right, thanks again. Uh, let's give them one more round of applause for appreciation. Uh, do we, is dessert on its way? Yeah, just, keep just keep going, all right. There's going to be dessert eventually, so that was, a, I was going to announce dessert perhaps. Um, all right, so now I'm, I'm gonna introduce our large business of the year. Uh, which is Bank of Ann Arbor, and, and they've seen the, the process here on, on, how this will, <laughs> on how this will go as we, again, lavish you with gifts. Uh, so again, I'm going to call up John, who will deliver a plaque, and I'm going to invite Patty Judson of Bank of Ann Arbor to come up to the podium, please. I guess I'm going to be me and I'm going to be Brian and I feel terribly underdressed to be Brian but um, <laughs> Bank of Ann Arbor has been you know such an important cog we are very lucky to have some very wonderful banks in our community and Bank of Ann Arbor is one of them and I am just so pleased to be able to present you guys with the the large business of the year award so congratulations Thank you so much. I feel like I should just stand up here and go on for a while, but you probably don't want that. Um, but these are, this is from Brian yes. in the city, the city of Saline. And we have the one here from the County Commissioner, Alicia Pink. Thank you very much. And we'll have a couple more tributes before you can accept the, the cup as well. Uh, so again, I'm going to have Annika come up and, and provide a tribute. Again, here on behalf of Representative Driscoll, who I know has worked closely with Bank of Ann Arbor, and um, we have a tribute for them. I'm going to read a little bit from it um, about how Bank of Ann Arbor has affected Celine. 
By remodeling an empty building in the heart of Celine into a beautiful full service baking center in 2013, Bank of Ann Arbor has demonstrated their commitment to the continued vitality of the Celine community. And they continue to be the only community bank with a local office serving the city. Furthermore, Bank of Ann Arbor has generously donated over to over 200 local nonprofit organizations to support the arts, children, seniors, education, health, and human service needs. So again, this tribute is um, dedicated to Bank of Ann Arbor and signed by Representative Driscoll, State Senator Rebecca Warren, and Governor Rick Snyder. And our representative for Mr. Wahlberg, Dustin Krasny, please. Well, tis the season. I hate to take a poll to see who's more popular, the banker or the politician right now. So let's, let's not take a poll. But, but, but that's, in, that's important because uh, too often uh, banks and financial institutions in our nation are vilified. And there are some bad actors. But when it comes to community banks, they serve such a good role when it comes to uh, college loans, auto financing, home mortgages. And the uh, Bank of Ann Arbor has definitely uh, been a great asset to our community. And in fact, the Bank of Ann Arbor has twice been named one of the U.S.'s top 50 best banks to work for by the ABA and has consistently been rated as one of the top performing banks in the state of Michigan. They are known as leaders in the field of social media using Facebook and Twitter to reach out to both existing and potential customers. They also em emphasize wellness for their employees and are known as one of the healthiest employers in the state of Michigan. And some would even say, we love them like the worst bar loves scotch eggs, right? <laughs> and you have to be from Washtenaw County to know what that means. And they are definitely a home down bank. So thanks again. And on behalf of Congressman Wahlberg, I'd like to give you this little tribute. So thank you so much. wait and see if you would take over. <laughs> um, actually, first we have to pass on the Winner's Cup to you from Dan's Downtown Tavern. They're here to pass on the Winner's Cup. John's going to give you the, the Winner's Cup from, from Dan's Tavern. And then we'd like to hear a few words from you. don't want to forget anyone. I am honored to be here tonight to accept this award on behalf of Bank of Ann Arbor, particularly our Celine team led by Shelley Rankin. I also would like to acknowledge a few other individuals who support that team and have been instrumental in supporting the Celine community, like Tim Krakerowitz, Dave Gunther, and the lovable Walt Byers. And I don't know who doesn't love Walt. We truly hope that he would be able to be with us tonight to enjoy our moment. Without the efforts of our entire team following our core values, giving back to communities that we serve, we could not have achieved and enjoyed this level of success. At Bank of Ann Arbor, we are inspired and energized by a wonderful board of directors and a great leader in Tim Marshall, who consistently sets the bar very high when it comes to giving back and being good corporate citizens. Our HELPS campaign is not just a campaign, it's really, truly, how we conduct our business. As an original employee of the Bank of Ann Arbor, along with my colleague Cindy Lipsay, I can remember back to that first day that we opened when we had 15 employees, one location, no customers, no deposits, and no loans. <laughs> it was a special day. <laughs> Today we've reached 1.2 billion in assets, have over seven, have seven locations and over 180 employees. And in early 2017, we'll add our eighth location with the acquisition of the Bank of Birmingham. Tonight, I would like to say thank you with great pride for this award and your recognition in all of these awards. 
The Saline community and the Saline Area Chamber of Commerce have added to our success story, and we're grateful for that. Thank you. So at this time, we have a special recognition this evening. Uh, it's not typically a part of the Business Enterprise Awards, uh, but we needed to add this. Uh, we had to find a way to recognize this individual. And I've been uh, on the Board of Directors for the Chamber for a while, and I've been a member of the Saline Area Chamber of Commerce for a long time. And um, I've heard the name Debbie Locke Daniel many times, and, and, and Debbie, I had not yet met you, so I'm, I'm so happy to put a face to the name. So again, I had heard the name several times, so uh, I'm excited tonight that, that we uh, uh, created a special category so that we could recognize a person that has really uh, helped the Celine Chamber in, in many ways. Uh, so again, I'm going to invite John up, who is going to pass off the plaque, and, and I'm going to invite Debbie Locke Daniel, please, to come to the podium. Well, when I was a uh, young polywog beginning my business in Saline, uh, Larry decided I needed to be on the board and uh, asked me to run for it, and I did. And as Jeremiah said, and that was quite a few years ago, you would hear Debbie Lock Daniel this and Debbie Lock Daniel that. And, you know, if I need something, I need to go talk to Debbie because she helps us so much. Um, so it's, it's hard to put into words how much she's really meant in the background to the chamber. Um, so I, I just, I'm so happy to be able to present you with this Lifetime Achievement Award for all that you have done for us. Um, it, it, has been, it has been very special. And I guess yet again, if I straighten my tie a little bit, I get to be Brian. <laughs> This is a certificate from the city of Saline. And we also have here one from Alicia Ping and the, and the Washtenaw County Board of Commissioners. Wonderful. And another tribute that's not long enough to list all of your accomplishments, I'm sure, but I'll read a small portion of it. The Saline community has benefited uniquely from Deborah Locke Daniels' talents. She has served as marketing support for Saline Area Chamber of Commerce, developing VisitSaline.com, and launching an out-of-state marketing campaign. All of her invaluable contributions and many years of selfless service to the Saline community have proven her to be a dedicated, humble, and honorable leader. So again, it is signed and dedicated by Representative Driscoll, State Senator Rebecca Warren, and Governor Rick Snyder. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Dustin, one more time, would you like to join us from Tim Wahlberg's office? Thank you. So might, might as well try one more time, but, but first, I wanted to give you a hug. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is on behalf of Larry Osterling, who uh -huh. also had a lot of great things to say about you. Uh, but uh, I wanted to give you this uh, congressional tribute from Congressman Tim Wahlberg and some of the, the great words that were written here on, on your behalf and in honor of you. Uh, it talks about all your great work in the community. And I think too often uh, we, we know that we live in a, a great place like Saline place where I grew up in, uh, but we don't know how it got great. And I think uh, it sets a high bar because of people like you who put so much time and effort and volunteer hours and other, and other uh, resources to make this a truly magnificent community that's consistently rated amongst the top in the whole nation so it's because of people like you. So although this is a lifetime achievement award for you, it's also a marker for all of us to try to achieve throughout our lifetime to try to come close to what you've done. Um, it says, 
Uh, Debbie has truly been a friend to Celine by promoting its community life and enhancement. In addition to her work with the Ipsy CVP, uh, Debbie volunteers with Ypsilanti Meals on Wheels, Motor City's National Heritage Area Board, Father Pat Jackson House, Michigan Firehouse Museum, the Heritage Festival, Washtenaw Arts Alliance, and Hospice of Livingston County. So therefore, in special tribute, therefore this document is signed to dedicate to honor Deborah Locke Daniel for her many contributions to Celine. May others know of my high regard for her and my best wishes for the future, Congressman Tim Wahlberg. The microphone is yours. Oh. Well, thank God. No, <laughs> um, I'm not a woman that anybody ever said was um, uh, lost for words. So I did write a short speech, and I hope you'll all indulge me in this opportunity to address all of you um, and, and talk a little bit about why I think the Ypsilanti CVB was so involved with Celine. People that don't really know what a convention bureau does um, often wonder why in this county we were so involved with this community as well as others around Ann Arbor. And it was our purview, but it was also, um, as I'm going to explain here, a little bit of, of what my board and I's vision were, was for what we should be doing to make it a stronger county uh, product for tourism. First, I want to thank the Celine Chamber Board of Directors for honoring me with this Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, I, I want to congratulate also the the Washington Glass Company and the Bank of Ann Arbor. I know Walt Beyer. We sat on a few committees together, and I'm sorry he's not here. I, was, I, I do love him. You're right. Nobody. I don't know how anybody couldn't. But I also want to really congratulate both of, uh, of you. Um, when Larry Osterling called me with the news that I had been selected for this prestigious award, after my shock and surprise, my mind immediately went back to my relationship with the Celine community and how it all began. I'd heard about the Leadership Celine program and I called Bill Lavery to see if I could sign up. He informed me that they only let one wild card in from outside Celine <laughs> and he would let me know. Well, as I hung, um, I, I waited for the phone to ring, he then called and said I was in and from then on, well, it's sort of history. The Leadership Celine program afforded me the opportunity to have a bird's eye view of the many wonderful tourism assets, businesses, and people that make this community a place that outsiders would want to visit and people would want to make their home. Secondly, I thought of my first visit to Ari, to, with Larry Osterling, your new chamber director at the time. Over lunch, he shared his vision for the chamber and the community, and then after a few more years, he became a two-term member of the Ypsilanti Convention Bureau Board of Directors. Larry, along with his successors, Art Trapp and John Olson, and most importantly, their right arm, Terry Saibo Koenig, um, were not only a joy to work with for us, but they kept me current on what was happening in Celine, and we were always looking for ways to partner and lever leverage our assets together. I always believed during my 15-year career as a CEO of the Ipsy CVB that when looking at Washtenaw County as a destination, the whole was only as strong as its parts, which included Celine, Dexter, Milan, Chelsea, Manchester, Ypsilanti, as well as Ypsilanti and Superior Townships. We are all fortunate to have Ann Arbor in our backyard, but that works both ways. <clears throat> of the variety of marketing initiatives that the IPCCBB launched under my watch, I'm most proud of the CTAP, or Community Tourism Action Plan Partnership, which is in its third year right now. This partnership is much more than an offering to each community of $10,000. It, is, it assists in identifying marketing or development projects, and many communities, including this one, have indicated to us that it brought the, your local merchant groups, DDA, city government, arts organizations, and businesses to the same table when sometimes that can be a challenge in a community they, to identify projects and partnerships and to leverage the money. This is what we at the Ypsilanti CBB hoped would happen and we're excited to see that it did. Celine exemplifies what is so great in small town America. It's a community that clearly values its citizens, its educational programs, and its businesses as exemplified tonight. No wonder it's still going strong at this, its sesquicentennial. I had a hard time with that word, actually. Um, <laughs> 
Finally, I'd like to just, if you can indulge me, to take a moment to introduce my, my guest this evening, as I'd like to call the gallery that you've heard so robustly. Um, six of my seven very talented Ipsy CBB team members who fortunately have been retained by the new Washtenaw County Convention and Visitors Bureau are here tonight. One of my previous board chairs, Bill Nichols, and his lovely better half over here, Karen, are, um, and he, he currently sits on the new CBB Board of Directors, is also with me tonight. Two of my longest and dearest friends, and when I say longest, I mean like about 40 years maybe. I know we don't look that old, but um, Barb McCoy and Barb Graby are here, and I affectionately refer to them as the Barbs, and I'm thrilled that they were able to join me tonight. Close friends, Patty and John Harrington, who are retired owners, of a still very successful printing business in Ypsilanti called Sander Printing are, are joined me tonight. But last but not least, my husband and stalwart supporter for the past 25 years, Vince Daniel. Once again, thank you for this great honor. I share it with my supportive past boards and the dynamic team you see here tonight. As you all know, it takes a village, which includes all of you. As I sail on into retirement, which has, very, um, has been wonderful so far in the last nine months, I will treasure this, the memory of this evening always and wish for all of you in the city of Saline another 150 prosperous and successful years. Thank you. All right, uh, what a wonderful evening. Um, I just want to uh, actually, why don't I just finish with one more round of applause for all of our award winners this evening. I'm gonna ask that our award recipients also stick around for a little bit. We wanna make sure that we get pictures uh, with everybody that's here. And everybody that's here, please enjoy your desserts, enjoy your drinks, and enjoy your time together this evening. Uh, it is a wonderful night. Uh, uh, Art already stuck the song in my head when we got here. Uh, I love a rainy night. Ooh, ooh, I love a rainy night. So now at 2 o'clock in the morning, everybody will wake up with I love a rainy night stuck in your head. <laughs> Make it a great evening. Thank you.